So here's a Coinbase have cooled off a bit over the past few months as really the crypto boom that happened in 2023 really slowed down. But that doesn't mean that the business is doing worse than it was a few months ago. In fact, a lot of the underlying businesses that Coinbase is building, the infrastructure for the blockchain continues to do better and better. Stable coins are being used for more and more transactions. There's more things being built on the blockchain. Crypto payments are becoming more mainstream. All of this is good news for Coinbase. And so I want to dig into a few of the reasons that I still like Coinbase stock and I'm much more interested in adding to my position, which I haven't done for quite a while, than I have been in at these prices than I was when the stock was a little bit higher. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. One of the main reasons to like Coinbase right now is stable coins. Coinbase was a 50-50 joint venture owner of the Center Consortium, which ran the USDC stablecoin. So that was a partnership with Circle. That relationship changed last year when Circle took over ownership of the USDC token, but Coinbase still generates revenue. Now, I say all this because a lot of the activity that's going on on the blockchain that's becoming much more mainstream is happening with stable coins. This is not happening with people transferring Bitcoin or Ethereum or Solana tokens to each other. They're using basically US dollars and they're using the blockchain as that transaction medium. So instead of using credit card rails, you're using crypto rails. This in theory is going to be a much more efficient way to transfer money. And this is really one of my core bullish theses for Coinbase long-term was that the company is going to be an infrastructure company in the future of payments. When I say that this could be the future of payments, everyone is paying attention, including Visa. This is a report from Visa talking about stable coin transactions. At a glance, $1.4 trillion worth of total volume of transactions in the last 30 days and 360 million individual transactions. So the amount of money is just absolutely tremendous that is being moved around with stable coins. But, not on, to but on top of that, maybe more importantly, is the fact that there is millions and millions of transactions. So let's get into this based on this report from Visa. Now this is updated on an ongoing basis. So this does include some data from September, but what you see with this chart right here is the monthly stablecoin transaction volume. So this is a transaction in dollars. In January, 2023, there was about a trillion dollars worth of transactions. 570 million of that was USDC tokens. 400 million was Tether. Fast forward to the biggest month, $2.7 trillion worth of transactions using the USDC token in April and $681 million worth of that was Tether. Now the actual dollar amount has declined a little bit in the last few months, but if you go to transaction count, this is actually getting bigger. So like I said, very possible that there's large, large amounts of money that are being moved around, maybe even multiple times in a single day. And that skews some of that transaction volume number, but the transaction count is gonna be much more difficult to skew because you're talking about hundreds of millions of transactions per month. In August, 2024, 167 million transactions using USDC, 201 million using, US, using Tether. And you can see that really those are the only two stable coins that really count for any amount of significant transactions. The transaction size by blockchain, I think this is really interesting because Solana has become a go-to blockchain. This is just in the last 30 days. This next one is the Binance blockchain, and then you have Tron, Arbitrum, Polygon, and Base. Base is actually Coinbase's blockchain, so this is going to be an area where they're trying to grow, trying to generate a little bit of revenue from that, the transactions that are happening on that blockchain that's going to be a little bit more similar to something like the visa transaction fee where they're going to take a very small cut but the goal is to have transactions to be one second and under one cent so why else should we be bullish on this well apple recently allowed for near field communication or nfc chips access to that chip on the iphone that is something that was reserved for Apple in the past. That is now going to be potentially available for cryptocurrency transactions. Circle CEO, again, a partner with Coinbase, has said this will allow USDC tap to pay. So this is where you could get to things like the Coinbase's wallets as a service and holding assets in digital apps now could access NFC transactions. So you go to the grocery store. As a merchant, the benefit would be you don't have to pay the 
3% fee that it takes to take credit cards, you could actually just pay a much smaller fee to take a crypto transaction. You would still have to pay whatever platform you're using to take transactions, but in theory, you could cut those transaction costs in a pretty big way. The benefit for Coinbase is you're generating money by integrating wallets as a service in different apps. You're making money on the USDC token and the interest revenue that you're generating there. There's blockchain services that you can be selling to developers. There's all kinds of different ways that you can make money if there is more and more crypto transactions happening. And those crypto transactions, remember, don't have to be typical cryptocurrencies. They can be USDC tokens. So this is where I was talking about Coinbase is really going mainstream with a lot of its developments. And it's not the traditional cryptocurrencies that the company is leaning into. It's actually tokens like the USDC token that I think are going to be the future. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. It's not just about stable coins either. Coinbase's underlying business, the exchange that the company was really built on, could play a pivotal role in the future of how we use money around the world. And this is just an example of this. This is an example of the USDC token to the two, two circles euro stable coin. Now, if you ever tried transferring money from one currency to another, that's actually very expensive for normal people to use. It's not all that expensive if you're an institutional investor or something like that. But for normal people, it can be very expensive. If you're doing that within a Visa transaction, Visa would be happy to do that for you. You just take your credit card to a foreign country. They will, happy to be, they will be happy to make that transaction because they're gonna take a percentage to, trans, to transfer your currency from one currency to another. If you can do that all in the background with something as efficient as Uniswap, that could be a much more efficient way to transfer money from one currency or cryptocurrency in this case to another. So again, just another way that Coinbase's business ties into the future of transactions. And it all comes down to the company innovating and building on the blockchain. It isn't just about cryptocurrencies. And this is something that I think if you're an investor, you really need to look at Coinbase not as a crypto company, but as a blockchain company. Because when you combine the base bot blockchain, the exchange, the stake it has in the USDC token and circle, wallets as a service, all of these tools are going to work together to build the future of the digital economy. And we're just starting to see those interactions and those innovations take hold. And I think Coinbase is going to play a key role in the future. Now, the stock isn't cheap. As I'm recording, shares are trading for 31 times earnings. And the price to sales multiple is nearly nine. So I would love to get a much better valuation for Coinbase. But I do think it's time to start nibbling a little bit and adding to that position because Coinbase continues to be the best position in the future of the blockchain. But let me know what you think about Coinbase's future. Leave those comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.